All right, guys, welcome into today's video here. We're talking about MMAT, MMTLP. A lot of quick updates today, nothing really too big. Uh, but tomorrow is going to be the big meeting where we got the Fed coming in with possible rate hikes, which we know we're predicting a possible 50 point base hike, but it's looking like it could be a 75 point base hike. And there's even rumors out there about a 100 basis point hike, which would kind of be crazy. Uh, how much has the market priced in? That we do not know. Uh, the market has priced in a lot, but I don't know if it priced in a 75 or 100 point uh, rate hike uh, for tomorrow. So it's going to be very intense, man. You just go here, type in tomorrow, the Fed meeting, June 15th. Uh, you got CNBC saying Fed likely to boost interest rates by three quarters uh, of a point this week, so 75 basis point. And when I was in here browsing a couple of these articles, there's one even saying, I think one of the banks, or uh, most banks are predicting the 50 point base hike. Some have raised that prediction to the 75 point. And there's even a few out there thinking it could be a whole 100 point rate hike, which is a whole 1% rate. Uh, as you know, mortgages now are like 5.8, 5.9, and the average person is getting about 6%. So if they would raise it 1% tomorrow, uh, they would go instantly to 7% on mortgages. So that was going to, that would definitely kill the housing market, what people can afford, what they can buy. And it's going to affect uh, people going out spending in the real world. So this is real deals, guy. Um, I used a quarter tank of gas. I figured I'd go ahead and top off my car for the weekend. It cost $28. <laughs> you know, it's like, wow. Um, I got a 2019 Nissan Altima SR, uh, the Sport Rally Edition. And I tell you what. Gets great gas mileage, but still $28 for a quarter tank of gas. Are you kidding me? Uh, so that's what I'm talking about. It's uh, four, four eighty five in my area is what I'm paying right now. Four eighty five for a gallon of gas here where I'm at in Maryland. So let's get here and take a look at it. So as we can see here on the Yahoo Finance, uh, Meta Materials was down a total of 1.35% today. We uh, ended at $1.46. And volume was pretty light. Uh, average volume is 4.3 million. We traded 2.2 million. And if we look here at the futures right now, S&P is currently up 15 points. The Dow futures is up 87 points. The NASDAQ is up 64 points. And the Russell was up 6 points. And crude oil is up a smidge. But these futures, man, they can turn in a heartbeat. It don't take long for these to turn. So we'll see how that actually plays out tomorrow with the futures showing uh, a little bit of green right now. Over here to MMTLP, actually finished up today, uh, up 1.6%, ended at $1.27, and it had light volume. Uh, average volume is 392,000, and we had basically 180,000 in volume. So about half or so, I guess you would say there is the volume on MMTLP, which I just keep accruing, guys, I tell you, I just keep buying through trade stations. I buy whatever I can. I plan on depositing another $100, $200 into my trade station account, and I'm going to grab what I can of this because I feel we are getting close. We talked about in the previous videos on the channel how George is hoping to get this closed before that August 30th because we got our Canadian friends uh, and those special savings accounts. So we have to clarify that those special savings accounts um, in the Canadian brokerages, you have to have you know, that either sold or this has to be resolved by then, and George is hoping to get that done. So let's hope he gets that done. Uh, going over here, taking a look at the oil prices. WTI crude, $118.70. Brent crude, $120.80. And we got natural gas actually down at $7.31. And they added a new one here. Murban crude oil is at $120. So even here, just browsing some of the, the articles, as you can see here, man, it's crazy. Uh, oil, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think it's, it's probably taking a small leg down before it makes the next rally up because oil has been hanging around this, uh, 120 to 125 range. And now it's down below the 120, but I think it's just cooling off a little bit and you're going to see another massive spike, uh, especially here with summer coming up, people's going to be traveling. And I think people will like not buy like apparel clothes. People may not buy certain things. Maybe not go out to the expensive restaurants. But I still think people's going to save up gas money to go to the beach, to go on a weekend trip, even if it's for two or three days. People's going to save up to go do that. And I don't think people will skimp on that. People may go get more fast food because it's cheaper, but maybe not go to the set down restaurants where you have to pay 
you know, $50, $60 and leave a tip and all that. People may just go to the fast food, get a eight to $10 meal and call it a day. So that could be what I'm predicting is gonna happen. I still think people is gonna travel. So unfortunately, well, it's good and bad for us as we say this all the time. Uh, good for our special dividend, bad for us in the pocket right now. Like I said, $28 for a quarter tank of gas. Are you kidding me? Oh, all right, that's rough. Um, here we go on the Fintel guys, taking a look at these numbers here. Days to cover setting at 16.22. I swear that's pretty much the same uh, that we was at yesterday, actually. Don't, no, no real change there. Uh, short squeeze score setting at 72.03, rank uh, 1,126 out of 5,400 stocks. Uh, we do got short shares at 100,000. And as you can see earlier today, uh, the video last night, we had 350,000 shares. And I said, that may sound like a lot, but really it's not because those can vanish and disappear like a magician. Poof. And that's exactly what happened. They went from 350 to zero, back someone returned 7,000, and then someone made it 100,000. So someone returned 93,000 shares. So like I said, these could come and go really fast. And we had the other day there at 1.2 million, and it went the whole way down to zero and back up to 100,000. So trust me, the shorts right now are taking advantage of this bear market where everything's selling off, and they're applying this pressure. But honestly, Meta Materials right now is holding pretty strong at this, like, dollar 30 range to dollar 50 range we're holding very strong it does not like to go below that and when it does it just jumps right back up so uh maybe people have buy orders in like a dollar 30 dollar 25 somewhere in there because it seems like every time it likes to test those levels it shoots back up to close to a dollar 50. uh short bar feet pretty much stayed the same we're setting at a 54.56 uh we ended yesterday at a 53.65 we traded all day today at the 54 0.56 so it's still almost 55 percent to short or borrow this stock gonna here take a look at the fender short volume ratio this is the dark pools they were a little light on the dark pools compared to normal i know light right 41 percent that's light uh yes because this stock is used to seeing 50 60 70 percent as you see right there 71 percent so yeah pretty interesting there to say the least um gonna here take a look at the aggregate short volume ratio is at 44.24 and like I said, pretty light. Actually, it's the only day since the 1st of June that has a 40 in it. It's always been 50, 60, or 70. So this is the first day of the month in the month of June that we had a short volume ratio in the 40s, guys. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, and a quick side note, I found something and I sent it to our uh, good friend, Roller Pigeon. I'm gonna have her take a look at it. Um, I want her to read over it and see if we kind of agree on what I'm reading on it because it's kind of a little tricky and I don't want to put out false information on something that I found. Uh, so I'm going to let her read over what I found and probably just let her come out with a video, explain it because I don't want to get the details wrong and get people upset. So fingers crossed, but I think it's pretty half decent. Uh, so hopefully we will uh, get some updates on that. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Um, that's it. Like I said, not much, guys. Just quick updates. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. I, I got to get back and make uh, replies back to people's comments. I'm going to take some time and do that tonight. So leave a comment down below. Um, and if it's a reasonable question, I will definitely answer it. I'll give as many uh, likes and thumbs up down there as I can. Uh, thank you all for your support. And I will catch you all in the next video, guys. Peace. <laughs>